Today's problem string is called partial products. So make sure you write the name partial products at the top of your problem string worksheet. And the date is 9-5-17, or whatever date that you are watching this. And I wrote an HW because I know that um, I assigned it for homework. All right, my first equation is three times 23. I'm gonna do this by using partial products and breaking it up. So I have a three by 23 area model here, but I'm gonna break it up to 20 and three. So I know that three times 20 is 60, and three times three is nine. So I can write that three times 20 in parentheses plus three times three in parentheses equals 69. Because three times 20 is 60, and three times three is nine, together it makes 69. My next problem is 30 times 23. Okay, I'm gonna kinda do this the same way. You can either take it and know that three times 23 is 69. And you can times that again by 10, and you would get 690. Okay, that's one way to do it. Um, you can also do it, if you're more of a visual learner, I can do it like this. I can take 23 up here, and I can make this into 10 different rows. So I know that I have a 3 by 23, which is 69. A 3 by 23 is 69. If I make 10 of those, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10. I know that out of all 10 of these, okay, totally, that's 10 different area models put together kind of like up here, but I condensed them. So I know it's 10 groups, which is 10 groups of three times 23 or 30. Okay, so here I can do three times 23 times 10 to give me 690, or I can do three times 10 times 23 or I can do 10 times three times 23. Whichever way that I wanna break up my 30 times 23, I will still get the same answer of 690. My next problem is 33 times 23. With 33 times 23, I already know that three, I'm sorry, that 30 times 23 was 690. And now I'm just gonna add three more. So now I have three times 23, which would be 69 that we already did up above. So I have 30 times 23 plus three times 23. So 690 plus 69, which gives me a total of 759. Okay, my next problem, moving right along, is 60 times 23. Okay, with 60 times 23, well, I already know what 30 times 23 is. It was 690. So 30 times 23, if I use my information that I got from my previous one, and I times that by two, then I know that it's 690 times two, or um, I can also do, I can also do um, three times 30 times 23. I'm sorry, not three, two, my error. Two times 30 times 23. Either way, it would be 690 doubled. So 690, plus 690, let me do this over here, you can add them together, and you get 1380, or 1380. My next problem is 66 times 23. With 66, well, I can take my previous one of 33 times 23, 
and I can double it, or I can do my one that I've done recently, which was 60 times 23, and 60 times 23 was 1380 we discovered, and then I just have six more. So six times 23 is 138, and I can add those together. So it just depends on how I want to do it to get my answer. I can use my information from, from previously, um, or I can break it up to make it how I want to do it. This way I can do 33 times 23, or I can do 60 times 23 plus 6 times 23. Either way, it works by using partial product. And my answer is 1380 plus 138. which is 1,518 for a final answer. Okay, I have one more, which is 43 times 23. And you can try and do this using partial products. Try and figure it out on your own um, how you wish to do it. There's lots of ways to break up 43. Um, you can use some of the information that we have from a previous problem, or you can break it up on your own. But I look forward to seeing what it looks like in class. Have a good night.